Welcome to Balmora. Hope you're ready for a war. Captain Rigel, Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps. When the Empire invades, we're the ones who seal the deal. Don't suppose you're aware of the situation here on Balmora? I've been briefed, but I could use more details. It's war, bloody and limitless. The Empire invaded Balmora in the last war, but we've been spinning our wheels in the mud ever since. Resistance fighters think they can drive the Empire off Balmora. We're here to prove them wrong. How do you expect to succeed where the Imperial Army has failed? We are the army too. Other soldiers just don't have the capability to handle our kind of specialised missions. The Balmoran government in exile, backed by Minister of Defence Vol Arjun, is giving us fits, backing a strong faction of the resistance. The minister is safely off planet, but if we break his allies here, we break him. We break him, we break the resistance. Why doesn't Imperial Intelligence just have him assassinated? Yeah, I get your thinking. Cut off the head and kill the body. Except resistance movements aren't organisms, exactly. If we took out Arjun, it'd be big. But as long as his power base stands, some other idealist is bound to step in. That's why we need to take everything out. Do we have the privilege of your support? I will hunt the Empire's enemies, and I will break them. We are most honoured to have you, my lord. My second-in-command, Lieutenant Davril, is masterminding Phase 1 of what we like to call Operation Breaking Point. You'll find him in Sobrick. He's got plans to blow the Balmoran resistance sky-high. I think you'll like them. I heard Captain Rigel was sending someone my way. Pleased to meet you. The battle for Balmora can only be won with blood, sweat and tears. Our sweat, their blood and tears. The government in exile, the resistance, cowards. We're going to bury them in their little hidey holes. So what exactly do you want me to do? The old government sending generators to the resistance, powering their artillery. The resistance has given pardons to Balmora's worst killers in exchange for a little guard duty. Phase one of Operation Breaking Point is to destroy those generators and put those killers to sleep. You in? That has possibility. The generators are in the Nibre warehouse. If you can blow them to pieces, you'll show the Balmoran resistance it takes more than cold-blooded killers to stop the Empire. Must have been imagining things, but I could have sworn I heard those generators go pop from here. Thank you, my lord. But it looks like the resistance isn't done yet. I should think blowing up their guns leaves little room for misunderstanding. They're a stubborn bunch. Used to be we kept the resistance in check in the wilds, but now they've started to get bolder. They're attacking Imperial holdings in the old Balmoran industrial area. We need to punish their boldness. Lieutenant Thorpe at Markaran Outpost has some ideas about how to put the resistance back in their place. I hear your exploits with Lieutenant Davril went well. I hope you didn't find him crass, my lord. Unlike my esteemed colleague, I do not base my mission's success on the decibel level of the explosions. Breaking the spirits of a resistance movement is like cooking a fine meal. So, what are the ingredients for this mission? The resistance has the people's backing. We must crush the spirits of the people to crush the resistance. No doubt Lieutenant Davril told you that they've brought in cyborg mercenaries from off-world using an experimental new drop technology to land them on the planet. These cyborgs are killing our soldiers left and right. So what's the mission? I believe we can catch them by surprise at this location. But here's the key. I want to send the Balmoran people a clear message. We collect the technology the cyborgs use to drop onto Balmora and use it against them. 
kill the cyborgs, collect the technology. What do you think? You have a devious mind. Bring me the cyborg technology, and I think the Balmoran people will get our message loud and clear. Word has it, the former Balmoran Minister of Defense, Vol Argen, got wind of your work destroying the generators at Nibre Warehouse. He's furious. I can't wait to hear his reaction when we attack him with his own cyborg's gear. Perfect. Please, you're embarrassing me. I hardly tried. Then I can't wait to see what you do when you're at your best. To reach the Resistance's main base, we need to push through the Gorinth Wilds. But the Resistance have repelled all Imperial offensives with guerrilla attacks from this untamed and largely uncharted area. A Balmoran defector, Cavill Arryn, has agreed to help us clear out the wilds and carve a path to the Resistance's base. He's at the Gorinth Imperial outpost. My lord, my respects. How do you like Balmora so far? Doesn't seem like much, does it? As war zones go, it's not so bad. Hmm, then you haven't been here long enough. Resistance stealth troops have been infiltrating Imperial outposts, making quick strikes and leaving no trace. The Empire says they can't be beaten. I say they can. What did you have in mind? You don't see them until they kill you. That's what they say but I built the tech they use to keep hidden. Their camp's in the Gorinth Wilds, but they've surrounded it with mines to keep strangers out. Watch your step, and you can use this device to detect the stealth fighters. They're fast, though. If I may offer advice, strike quick and hard. No more surprise attacks. Good. Captain Rigel is on holo. He wants a word with you. My lord, allow me to express my deepest pleasure at working with you. Operation Breaking Point has been far more successful than I ever could have imagined. Word is, the former Balmoran Minister of Defence, Vol Arjun, might come down to Balmora. He's playing right into our hands. I'm touched by your enthusiasm. Now that the Wilds are secured, we're ready for the final push. Colonel Vrain, head of the Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps, has come to oversee the action. He's at the Sundari outpost, in striking distance of the Resistance's main base. It's now or never. Today the Balmoran Resistance, backed by the government in exile, takes its last pitiful gasp. We have you to thank. It won't be long before the corpse of former Defence Minister Vol Argen is cold in the ground. Has the former Defence Minister come to Balmora? That's the rumour, but either way, if Operation Breaking Point succeeds, his death is only a matter of time. The Resistance, aided by the Republic, has made its headquarters in the Balmoran Arms Factory. It is a heavily fortified facility, but it's not invulnerable. Not with such powerful patriots as yourselves on our side. The factory will be destroyed by nightfall. I vow it. If we may impose on you for one final task in service of the glorious Empire, we need you to break into the factory, shut off its power, and use the period of panic to shut down security. Once this is done, the main attack force can sweep in and wipe out the resistance. And if you see Vol Argen, kill him. It's an honor to serve. Word is the resistance at the factory have the Republic's backing. They'll be well equipped and well trained. For anyone else, this would be a suicide mission. I wouldn't consider it, but I have a good feeling about you. Come on, bring it!
I've heard most satisfactory reports of your success in the Balmoran Arms Factory, and that fool Vol Argon played right into our hands. There can be no doubt. The resistance is crushed. They put up a good fight, but I think they'll be more agreeable now. Undoubtedly. Captain Rigel is in charge of writing up the report on this one. If I could ask you for one final favor, that you report your success to him. My lord, you have laid waste to our enemies. The whole resistance is in shambles. The people's spirits are broken. Balmora is as good as ours. Fear and intimidation are the Empire's greatest weapons. The Sith are the Empire's greatest weapon. We cannot possibly thank you enough for your service. Decades we've been trying to win this war, and you've done it in a fraction of the time. Thank you. <laughs>